All right, I think we'll go ahead and get started. Um, thank everyone for coming this morning. Um, this is your small business breakout Northeast Connection combined, um, just like everybody else has had to pivot during COVID-19. Uh, the Chamber has as well. Typically, we have the small business breakouts the last Friday of every month, and we also have the Northeast Connection at R2I2. Um, I think it's the third Tuesday of every month. Um, but because of COVID-19, we have combined those efforts to a virtual seminar um, here to add value to small business and, and help you guys as much as we possibly can. I am Jared Clary. I work for Splash Omnimedia. I am the chair of the Small Business Council. So big shout out to all my council members that are on the, on the call right now. These are the, the, if you guys know how to wave on Zoom, please raise your hands or wave to the camera. Let everybody know these are the people that... Uh, put in the effort to make these things happen. Chamber staff, Henry, thank you. Audra, Susan, I think I saw you on here. Ashley, we appreciate all you guys. Um, just a couple updates as far as Chamber's perspective. Uh, we're, the, the council is very blessed to have been able to put on a impact webinar later this week um, about payroll protection programs, and that will be sponsored by the Small Business Council and also be featuring two of our Small Business Council members David Belton and Nick Annan from Elliott Davis and Adele Knight. Um, so we really appreciate you guys and want to, to hopefully spread the word to, to present those resources and add value to people who may not know about payroll protection programs or what's available to them or, or how they can access some of these resources. So if you see that on the Chamber Facebook page, please like, share, comment, spread the word. Uh, we're here to add value. So the the way we do that is by word of mouth and also just sharing on, on digital marketing. So however we can get the word out, get as many people involved and signed up and registered. That's going to be a great seminar. And that is Thursday at 8.30 a.m. Jared, is there um, a good spot we can have folks if they, you know, got questions? You know, I've done a number of these now, and, and I, I try to anticipate all the different questions that are out there with PVP that I've run into. But if someone's got one ahead of time, is there maybe a good, like, email address they could send those into? Yeah, if you, uh, if you want to drop your or if you want to drop your email in the chat or henry audra if if y'all have a, a email that you want people to yeah. send some questions beforehand they can send it to um oh did audra put something in there i see oh, she yeah, it looked like she, yeah. she dropped hers in there so i want to encourage everybody to obviously send those questions in before the webinar on thursday and then also to use the chat right now we're here to add value and we can't we don't we can't add value to things that we're not aware of, so please tell us how we can help. Use the chat to connect with each other. Use the chat to connect with us. Uh, however we can do, whatever we can do to help you guys, uh, please, please take, take full advantage of that. Um, also, if you open the chat next to where you can choose who you would like to talk to, there's three little dots. You can click that and save the chat. So if somebody puts something in there or somebody drops their email address and you want to follow up with them and get in touch with them, you can save the chat and have that information handy for whenever you might need it. Um, as far as chamber updates, I know that we have issues forum coming up August 4th. That will be the next issues forum. And then our next breakout will be August 18th. So if you have time, go ahead, mark those down, put those on your calendars. We'd love to see you again. Uh, bring somebody, as many people participating as possible. Like I said, we're trying to add value. So as, as many people we can get in the room, the better. Um, Henry, Susan, Ashley, Audra, anybody else have any chamber updates before we go ahead and get started? Jared, I'd like to, I believe Ann Thompson's on the line. Ann is the incoming chair for the Northeast Connection. Um, Ann, I don't know if you're still muted, but- I'm not welcome. muted. Good, good, good. Ann's schedule has been um, overflowing like a lot of ours, but Ann is joining us. Um, we welcome Ann. Um, and look forward to uh, the Northeast Connection at some point <laughs> and, uh, getting their individual meetings again. But for now, we're, we're combined and appreciate all of the small, um, the Northeast Connection uh, count, uh, members, steering committee members who are on, on the line right now. Definitely. Couldn't do without them. Can't wait to be Back in the Northeast Connection, back small business breakouts, just back connecting with people face to face. Obviously, whenever the time comes and it's safe and necessary, uh, ready to be back at R2I2, uh, hang out with Miss Maria and everybody out there. So, uh, really excited to get back face to face, obviously, whenever the time comes. Um, anything else before we get started? 
I would like to mention that on August the 25th at two o'clock, we'll have our military outreach group meeting and we'd love for everybody to sign up and join us on that. It'll be two to three and we'll have all of our military representatives there provide an update on the great things they're doing. Awesome, awesome. So like I said, this is the Small Business Breakout Northeast Connection combined meeting. Uh, we're here to, to reconnect Columbia. You know, it's been a lot of talk about COVID-19, how has it affected your business and this and that and everything related to, to COVID and viruses and how has everything gone virtual. Uh, we don't want to, we, we obviously know that that's an issue and that's happening, but we want to get back to business and, and try and resume business as, as normal or whatever that new normal is. I'm sure you guys have heard that term a billion times by now, uh, but we want to connect with each other. So we're using, using these breakouts as an opportunity to connect with one another, to build business relationships and add value to each other. Um, specifically in these last couple of breakouts, we want to network as much as possible. So a couple of things that we're gonna do throughout this meeting today is we're gonna jump in a couple of breakout rooms, have a little bit of a discussion, connect with each other and work on our elevator pitch or our sales pitch. Uh, we wanna make you guys or prepare you guys as much as possible that when you get in front of clients or potential clients that you're, you're prepared. And the more reps and the more practice you have at that, we obviously know will lead to better results in the long, long term. Um, so in this first breakout room, I want you guys to, to take a couple minutes each, introduce yourselves to the other people in your breakout rooms. If, you're, if your video is off, I encourage you to turn it on. Um, be ready to, to talk and connect with your fellow attendees here. Um, but we just wanna try and summarize your business in, in 30 seconds to a minute. Um, and just whatever somebody would need to know. We're not, not here to necessarily sell one another right now. Hopefully that opportunity can present each other and maybe we can all be clients one day, but uh, work, on, work on your pitch and explaining your business and, and simplifying to where people can understand you within 30 seconds to a minute. Um, so if we wanna go ahead and jump into those breakout rooms, we'll have some people facilitating the conversation, but feel free to connect, use the chat, leverage the chat, um, and then we'll meet back here in about 10 minutes.
Welcome back, everyone. Susan, I was in a breakout room with Rhonda, and she was asking about some information regarding military affairs. Okay. I just wanted to try and connect you guys before this was over with. Um, I think that could be something that would be really awesome for her and in the chamber. Okay, great. Rhonda, I am always willing to talk with you. You can call me at 803-381-1122. And I will also use that to say utilize the chat. If you, uh, if you have somebody that you want to reconnect with or connect with, use the chat, drop your email. You can also save the chat. If you open it up, there's a little button with three dots. You click that and it will allow you to save the chat. Um, wanted to spotlight a couple things that we talked about in our breakout room. Um, we talked about, obviously gave our own business pitch, but then after we finished wrapping that up, we talked about how, how can we change things up? How can we mix it up? How can we add value, continue to keep things interesting, talk about topics that we haven't addressed yet. Um, we got some really great suggestions um, really great idea that I'm excited to talk to the council and the steering committee about uh, on how we can implement some of these things to, to add more value to small business here. Um, if anybody had anything special that they wanted to share, that would be great. I've, we talked about having maybe some type of like a visitor type day, you know, to, to kind of break down barriers or maybe sometimes people might think that the, the chamber is, is exclusive to membership, which obviously there's certain perks that partners get. That's the whole reason of your partnership. Um, but to really open arms and open the doors for everyone not to feel any type of hesitancy to participate in our event. Um, if anybody else had any, has any suggestions or any positive things, please drop them in the chat. Feel free to, to, to turn your microphone off mute and share them. Um, I'll, let, I'll open it up for a second. If not, then I'll, I'll kind of preface before we jump into our second breakout room. Yeah, on ours, Jared, one of the things that came up was a good question is about marketing and using some resources. And two of the things that showed up is for R2I2, if people that are trying to get logos or different things made up, you know, R2I2 has a phenomenal um, process to let students get involved and teach them entrepreneurship. And then USC also has graduate students that have to do a project. So for anyone that's looking for help with some projects, um, free help, um, that came up in our breakout dis uh, discussion, which was really good, good use of information. And I know Splash does it. But there are um, some things out there for people that are limited on budget. For sure. And I've actually done some things with the J School over at USC. So if anybody would need a contact with the person that could put you in touch with maybe a professor or a student or anyone like that, I'll be more than happy to give you my contact. Uh, she works, she's kind of the facilitator for the, for the School of Journalism. Um, so she'd be able to point you in the right direction. So I love that suggestion. That's awesome. You know, not everyone some people are limited on resources and being able to, to have access to things at a low cost or, or more affordable cost and to be able to give students an experience is a great way to add value to your business as well as their experience. So by all means, if I can help you, I'll drop my, I'll listen to my own advice and drop my information in the chat right now. Oops, I sent it to Dan. Well, Dan, you got my, you have my uh, email. If you didn't have it already, hold on. Um, but that's, that's kind of what we want to talk about in the next breakout is how can we, how can we help you? What do you need help with? Maybe you think you, what, what your business needs help with, you might not think that there's a place that the chamber can add value, um, but it, it, we can't help if we don't know what the issues are. Um, so that's what we want to do. We're going to jump back into another breakout room here in a couple of minutes. We're going to talk about kind of what do you, what does your business need help with? What do you need help with specifically? Um, how can we continue to add value? What, is, what are some of the obstacles that your business is facing, whether it's related to COVID-19 or just in general with growth? Um, I know something particular, and I'll share with the, the entire group, is I, I operate in a sales role, so meeting people and, and making new connections is something that is, is imperative to my everyday operations. Um, and with all of this, when you can't go to events and you can't meet people and you can't get in front of people, it's tough to make new relationships. So that is something that I have struggled with. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, kind of break the ice, but Audra, if you want to go ahead and throw us into another breakout room for eight to 10 minutes, we can reiterate this discussion and feel free to open it up after that. You don't have to necessarily just talk about that. Um, council members, if you're in there, please uh, break the ice and keep the conversation going, connect, use the chat.
Awesome. Everybody's starting to trickle back in. So we appreciate you guys for participating today. I hope you guys had some great discussions. Um, I know, so I'll follow up on my, my, so am I breaking up? Am I frozen? Yeah, you were breaking up a little. Um, I'll follow up on my, just, I'm going to give you a little warning before I do it. Um, but one, one way that I've been able to make connections or to, to kind of solve that pain of not being in front of much and being able to build as many relationships is when I get a chance to, to sit in Zoom meetings like this is oftentimes I'll take a screenshot of the Zoom meeting and I'll post it on LinkedIn and then tag everyone that was in on the Zoom meeting on my LinkedIn post. Um, it helps you with your reach. On, so we do marketing. So this is, helps you with your reach on social media. It helps you get in front of connections of connections. Um, and it has actually been very beneficial for me during this time to be able to connect with new people that I have not met before. So I'm actually about to take the screenshot. So I don't want anybody to get caught like mid with your mouth open or anything like that. But uh, if you want to, <laughs> you want to smile, I'm gonna take screenshot one, two, three. Awesome. I appreciate you guys. Um, and we're always, I, I share that with you guys, hopefully to try and add some type of value. If feel free to steal my little trick. Um, but that's what we want to do. We want to share ideas, bounce ideas off of each other, add value however we can. Um, we have Joseph Bernard that was on the call and he works for Providence and I just wanted to thank him and his staff and everybody that is a first responder or, or medical personnel that has been going above and beyond during all of this. I would really appreciate you and you guys, family members, if you're nurses or first responders, anything like that, uh, definitely pass along a, a mass hug for, for me and all of us here. Um, if, does anybody have any, any, any Anything they want to share from the breakout room? We have a few minutes left. Um, I'll shut up. I, I want to let everybody know that Ron shared a link for a Zoom registration. Ron has a roundtable discussion every Monday morning. Ron, if you want to kind of tell everybody about that and see if, you, if we can get some participation. Yeah, uh, thanks, Jared, and good morning to everyone. Um, we do a, it's called the, uh, we just named it actually, so I'm super excited about that. And we call it the Turning Point Leadership Roundtable. And it's where people from across the country join us at 7.30 in the morning on Mondays, you know, so former military. So 7.30 works perfect for me. Um, but it's also worked for a lot of people because they get a chance to kick off their entire week with what they're going to do. Um, and we kind of take on issues or concerns for businesses, for schools, for churches, for communities. Um, an example this week is, you know, the format that you see with the chamber. Um, I started sharing that with them and they're, they've adopted it and it works well on Zoom. But this week we talked about values and character. Um, not to attack anybody or any organization at all. It's just as human beings, as people, you know, what role does values play in the decisions that we make and what role is, is your character play in the organizations that we work for? And so that group took that on from across the country. Um, we spend one hour only, but we've taken on everything from COVID to uh, coming back into the workforce to when we got the racial tension, you know, you name it, we've kind of addressed it in that group on Monday mornings in a respectful manner. So there are boundaries. The only goal that we have for that call is that you bring something that adds value and you walk away with something that can help you add value to where you're headed to. And that's, those are the only requirements. Um, and so we take on different things every single week based on what we're getting feedback from. It's turned into something great. I didn't, when I started it, I just did it because I had time, but it's turned into more than I can ever imagine. I've been on the call where there's been hundreds of people, people from different continents, all across the country. So it's really awesome. Great way to start your week. If you like this format, this was literally copy and pasted from Ron. So big shout out to him for uh, his wisdom there. Um, he, he dropped the link in the chat. So the impact webinar on Thursday is at 8.30 uh, payroll protection. Make sure that you share that. I know that the event is on Facebook. Share it from your Facebook, tell your friends, you know, not there. I'm sure that there's people that aren't in this chat right now that could definitely benefit from some of the information that David and Nick are going to be sharing on Thursday. So that's this Thursday at 830. Um, also have issues for them coming up August 4th. Um, our next breakout is August 18th. And Susan, correct me if I'm wrong, but military affairs is August 25th. That is absolutely correct. Thank you. Two o'clock. Zoom. Uh, awesome. Hey, Jerry, really quick uh, for the group, if you guys can kind of ask people that are not on this call, that are not a part of the chamber, 
what is it that they would want from the chamber? What can the chamber do? Because this is a pivotal point for all small business owners. And so one of the things that we're still trying to figure out is as the world changes, so is what the chamber going to be able to deliver and do will change as well. But we don't know what to deliver if we don't hear from the people. And some of them are not a part of the chamber right now. And so we need to hear what's, what does the community need from a small business that's struggling? You know, and everybody's not in a, in a good position. If we don't know it, we can't help. So whether they're a part of the chamber or not, can you do, do just kind of do a, a survey internally with your own circle? What would they want the chamber to do to help them stay in business and to stay productive? We need those answers so we can do something different. Yeah, that's a great um, a comment, Ron. And in, in, in the first breakout, the folks that were in the breakout work with me shared some things. So if any of that came up from uh, any of the other uh, rooms, I'd love to have it. Yes. Y'all make sure to save the chat. I see a lot of people dropping their contact information, a lot of awesome stuff. So make sure you save the chat. Um, it's very beneficial. I know a lot of times you think that uh, you can store everything you want up in here, but uh, make sure you save it, have it as a resource, be able to reconnect with these people. Look out for uh, my screenshot that I'm about to post on LinkedIn. I hope to connect with all of you. I hope that you all have made some valuable connections today. Um, that's it for me. Make sure you have Thursday, 8.30 down. And, and I mean, I'm a little biased to our breakout session, so make sure you have August 18th. 8.30, we'll meet back. Um, that's it for me. If Henry or anybody else has anything, um, I, I appreciate all you guys for attending and showing up and for participating. Um, Henry, just want to say thanks to everyone for participating. Uh, thanks to Jared. He's been a great leader for the Small Business Council. Thanks for those of you who are members of the Northeast uh, Connection. Um, without businesses coming together, sharing, uh, I don't think you grow properly. And without you coming together and sharing, we as a chamber don't know how we can help you. We're still fighting behind the scenes on a lot of things that has to do with PPP, as well as things that has to do with what's going on at the state house. So we will do everything we can to make sure that we represent the chamber and the businesses in this area well. And thank you. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a great week. Have a good day. Have a wonderful day.